to the Lexus city of Kisumu where East Africa Brewery says it's a new 15 billion shilling brewery in Kisumu is ready to start production after a successful test run. The brewer will kick off activity at the site with a two-year production run of its Senator Keg Beer, a low-priced lager made from local, locally grown sorghum. Our reporter Laura Chenu now joins us for an update from Kisumu as she speaks to Eric Kiniti, EABL's Corporate Affairs Director. Laura, over to you. Uh, well, a very good morning to you, Patrick Igunza. I'm not quite sure I got your question. There's some background and noise going on there. But indeed, here at the Lakeside City of Kisumu, it is a day that many have been waiting for following the opening of the 15 billion brewery plant that is set to be opened after, of course, the groundbreaking of that uh, brewery uh, happened last year, July, when the president was here to oversee the official groundbreaking of that plant. And of course, it has been quite a uh, a milestone uh, looking at um, the various uh, sectors that are set to be revamped by the opening of that plant including the agricultural sector which has been quite uh, a point uh, that the, the county government has said is looking uh, to uh, revamp and so the contribution by EABL uh, to uh, sort of try and revamp that sector by setting up this brewery plant are some of the things that we'll be looking at and now I'm here with the e EABL's corporate director Mr. Eric Kiniti to basically just put a, a few things into perspective. Now we understand that f yesterday was your first testing of the brew so wh wh how, wh what has that been like? How do you feel the journey is like and having tested the beer? I think I must say we're very uh, happy uh, to, to see how far we've come from uh, the last one year. So we started off the, so the construction uh, about uh, nine months ago that's around September and we've been very happy with the progress we've made so far. So we are on course to open the uh, brewery later this year. And yesterday what we were doing was to test the initial brew in terms of the quality and comparing it with the same brand that we have coming out of Nairobi. And we're happy that the initial tests are very good and we're happy that we are we're going to give Kenyans in Western Kenya a very good uh, alcoholic beverage. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you have a definite date for when the plant is going to begin commercial uh, operations? We don't have a definite date, but I, I would say it's in the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, well, uh, you had mentioned that uh, the lake is a very fundamental uh, resource in this, considering water is quite uh, uh, an important ingredient in beer production, yes. and sorghum as well, which you said the intake was supposed to, to go up from 20,000 to 40,000 tons. Yes. I mean, how many local farmers have you contracted, or what is your plan for getting the raw material for the brewery? So we've contracted about 15,000 farmers so far. Um, the initial output in the first season, which was tremendous, was 5,000 metric tons. They are currently harvesting now. We are actually receiving some of the product now in the brewery. And we are very happy with the quality that we are getting. We are very happy with the commitment the farmers have given us. They have actually exceeded the expectations that we had of the output we expect within the first season. Um, there's a bit of challenges with that, with the flooding that was there early in the year. So a lot of farmers also suffered quite huge losses and, and also the birds menace. But we are happy that uh, we expected them to, 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 to give us less, but actually we got more than we would have would have anticipated so we are very happy with that progress mm -hmm. uh, we are gearing up to go for the next season which would start around september and and most farmers because uh, we have also interacted with them throughout the week mm -hmm. they are very happy with with uh, get, getting into sorghum mm -hmm. and they're looking forward to the next season mm -hmm. yeah. well you have mentioned flooding and that brings the critical question of climate change having uh, come, having come up i mean is there a long-term plan that you have to make sure that you're cautioning farmers from this the IC natural calamities mm -hmm. in ensuring that the raw material is always produced to the factory. Yes, mm -hmm. so there are a lot of work we are doing to ensure that um, we, we are coming up with varieties that can survive some of these challenges. Mm -hmm. So especially with the birds menace, one of the uh, varieties we are trying to work with is one that is not palatable to birds, so which we feel will be good uh, for us because the farmers will not have to spend a lot of time trying to keep away the birds. Mm -hmm. In terms of flooding, again, it's a tough one uh, to deal with uh, because you don't know how that will happen. But again, the, the, the rainy season we saw this year was an unprecedented, uh, but we don't expect the next season to be that, that way. So we expect the farmers will have a better season coming the next season. 
Well, sometime last year there was a bit of controversy around the factory uh, where some of the locals felt that they were being locked out uh, in, in the initial construction phases mm -hmm. of the plant. So now the question is, mm -hmm. is there how many jobs, direct and indirect jobs, are you seeking to create for the local people yeah. in this place? So currently, um, throughout the construction phase, we've engaged 850 people. Out of those 850 people, 90 percent of them are locals, and locals being from the western region. So we've focused uh, primarily with, within Kisumu, but also with the surrounding counties. So we've done a bit of a good balance across across the western region. Going into the full production, um, again, it's a highly mechanized plant, so we don't expect a lot of jobs within the plant. So about 120 will be f working there directly, but we expect that the other facilities that will come with that, because there's a logistics, there are other source services that we're going to provide. So cleaning services, guarding services, catering services, those also will be provided by local companies. And we are currently in the, in the process of recruiting people to provide those services so that's, that's the phase we are in right now and we are strictly ensuring that everyone who gets a job there is from coming from the local community but we also expect that given what we are doing with the farmers uh, we are opening new outlets we are targeted to open new 5,000 new senator outlets across the region again it's local opportunities for entrepreneurs within the region and we believe this will go a long way to boost economic activity within this this part of the country yeah. Well, KRA has in, uh, introduced new excise uh, tax yes. tax excise duties on that set to affect the prices of beer. Yes. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, so we so the, the law was passed in 2015 to ensure that we have inflationary adjustments coming in every year. Again, in 2015, the increases on beer were very high, about 43 percent increase. So we are happy that the last two years they have held off making any more increases, uh, and we, we believe that with the inflation adjustment they are doing now, we don't expect much impact. Uh, on, on the product or don't expect the consumers to share away even with, with the slight uh, price increases that might come with it. Mm -hmm. But we are, we are happy that government is now creating a stable tax environment because without that then it becomes even hard for us to make investment decisions. Because once you don't, you don't predict what's going to happen in the next four or five years, then it becomes very difficult for us to invest. But with that certainty now, we're able to make the investment we're making now with, with the Kisumu Brewery because you know what we'd expect uh, going forward. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Thank Eric, for you, joining us on Citizen Extra. And Patrick, uh, that is, in a nutshell, what is going down here. We expect, uh, of course, a, a comprehensive media briefing. And, of course, we will be looking to see what the 15 billion plant will be doing here in Kisumu County and its general benefit to the greater western region of Kenya. Igunza.